Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome back. I'm really happy that you're back here. I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. I feel like they're really helpful, and I'm trying to put out as much useful information as I can. In this video, uh, we will be talking about uh, potential profits that you can make with a little bit of investment. Um, there's there's different opportunities out there that you might not know about and maybe you overlooking uh, for example the thrift stores um, you can also get stuff in Walmarts uh, the big chain stores like Big Lots uh, Home Depot but there's also really really low investments in the thrift stores like Salvation Army uh, Goodwill um, the local thrift shops uh, there's many things that you can do you can literally make a hundred dollars a day spending maybe twenty dollars and it's really possible because i've done it and um there's really no fee to get in so it's a good chance for you to make some extra money in the beginning i'm not saying you, you're going to be making thousands because you need to get a little bit of experience first you need to get familiar with the system but you can easily make at least two hundred dollars uh extra income a month up to a thousand dollars right I started with a hundred dollars a month now this is my third month and I'm doing about a thousand dollars a month so it's a slow progress uh, I'm not getting rich by any means but it's um, the extra income really helps and um, I feel like you can also do that um, everyone has an opportunity there's always um, things out there to sell and to flip and to make at least double your, your investment and I wish you can do this with me and um, that's the reason why I'm putting out this video is just so I can help as much people as I can. Uh, I think um, many people don't know that um, you think of extra income and you immediately think of a part-time job on top of your full-time job. But I'm not saying this is not a part-time job, but at least you can do it on your own pace. And I, I think you can be successful at it if you put up the time and the effort needed to be successful. So follow me here and I'll, I'll show you a couple of things so you can have an idea of uh, maybe what items to, ch uh, to look for, uh, but they don't necessarily have to be these items. Uh, a lot of the times when you, uh, when you shop at thrift stores, you, uh, thrift stores, I'm sorry, uh, you only buy one-offs. So there's, there's a chance that you might find um, a lot of quantity of one item, but most of the time it's just gonna be a one item um, kind of deal. So once you purchase that and you sell that, it's going to be really hard to get the same item again. Uh, but sometimes that happens that you find a lot of the same items, but most of the time it's not going to be. So that's why this is a little bit of a strategy that I'm going to show you and hopefully it can be really helpful to you. So you can follow me here and I'll show you uh, some, some um, examples. So this is my little warehouse. It's not a warehouse, it's just a, a boiler room, but I'm starting from the bottom uh, just like many people um, you can do this in your home you don't need to get an office you don't need to get a warehouse uh, the stuff really piles up with the time but if you can manage uh, your purchase habits and as well as your selling volume you can easily make this work so um, I'll show you a couple of things I, I, I think you're gonna like these items um, so for example I went to the thrift store today and I got these tapes. This worked with the uh, old video cameras from back in the day. And sometimes a lot of people overlook this and maybe you think there's no value in them. But I, I paid a dollar for them. And if you look it up, if you look them up in eBay uh, with the sold items and the, the item name, um, a lot of times, for example, this is it's actually going for $25. I paid $1 for it. So imagine finding three of them and selling three of them a day. So for three dollars, you're making sixty. So it's it's a pretty good investment if you ask me. And it takes a little effort. Uh, once you get used to it, uh, you know what to look for. But in the beginning, uh, like this, I, I would overlook this a hundred percent. But now I'm, I'm a little bit more into research, so I know uh, that this, this there could be some value, especially because this is brand new. It's never been opened and it's been so many years since uh, this came out that it's rare to find them in this condition. Usually you find them open and uh, used, but this is a great find. Um, 
for example, I got these shoes. Uh, these are Nikes. Uh, these are collection shoes. Uh, uh, it's a special edition. These are literally brand new. They had the tags and everything. Uh, these go online for $150 at least. I paid $50 for them. If um, This is a little bit of investment because $50 is a lot of money. But I have the potential of making $100 at least. So just imagine these shoes and I have three packs of uh, these tapes. These are $20 each. So three times 20 is 60. And this is a $100 profit. So it's $160 in a one hour uh, visit in the uh, in the Salvation Army, the thrift store, if you don't have one in your area. So these are the little things that you can find um, and they can really, really save you save your day if you know what to look for and these are little examples I'll, I'll, I'll explain myself a little bit in more detail uh, as soon as I get more comfortable with the camera uh, I'm still not 100% uh, comfortable but I wish uh, I hope this was uh, helpful to you thank you so much for watching and I'll keep putting out videos and thank you so much